of aggro. He does. He does like his aggro. I have to say, so I played against Ross at the first content creator set championships. It was the first round. I was feeling pretty confident. I had like Emerald Steel, like the most meta deck. I was feeling very, very good about it. It was still kind of a under the radar deck at that moment in time. And then Ross just came through. Oh, double. Six for each player. I guess we're going to roll again. Okay, another one. Okay. Oh, I was hoping for another one there. Ross wins it. But yeah, so Ross hit me with the Maleficent on turn one. Turn two, another Maleficent and befuddled me. And he beat me very badly. And so Ross is definitely a strong player. And Sylvia, I didn't see her play yesterday, but we did see one of the other uh, Italians play against him yesterday. And they were victorious. Um, so pretty excited to see. The action here, Maleficent gets inked, and in comes a Magic Broom. One of my favorite cards, Baker, as I'm sure you know. Well, it's kind of both of one of our favorite yeah. cards there, but mine went into the ink well. Yours <laughs> actually hit the board. All right. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, after your own heart, Spezzy. Oh, Ross is <laughs> not ready for what is in Sylvia's hand. Look at this. Is that an morph as well? Everything in the hand that can be enchanted is enchanted. Incredible. So Sylvia's going to go for the Robin Hood on turn one. Ross Ross only knows that it's steel for now, oh, and Ross. Sylvia only knows that it's amethyst. Pretty interesting on that turn one. It's kind of worth trying to play a <laughs> card from the same ink color, like ink, ink a card and play a card yeah. of the same ink color to just disguise Information. what you're playing for as long as you can. We do see the magic broom quest for one, so Ross up to one law, and the friends on the other side was inked. So I'm expecting a two drop here to probably banish the bra. Oh, it's the Simba. Hello. Wow, that is some gas. This Simba is a quite simple, two cost uninkable. Uh, one, one, quests for three. It is one, one, right? The stat yeah, line. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes, the yes. same stat line as Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah. But it's in Ruby. There you go. But yeah, lots of gas here from Ross. He does like his aggro, as you said. Uh, managed to sneak up on you at the first set championships. But to be fair, yeah. then at the last ones, you kind of did the same for me with Maleficent. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, mate, I'm just saying. <laughs> you can see Sylvia going to ink Enchanted Morph, and Ross just doesn't even blink. I don't, I don't, <laughs> at the, I don't think he thought that it was an enchanted, if I'm honest. <laughs> unfazed. Oh, the Triton's Decree comes through! What? This is, is going to deal two damage to a character of Ross's choice, and of course, Simba is the only option. Wow. Bye bye, Simba. So punished for removing the broom, it was still the right move. Yeah. Otherwise, Robin Hood would have taken out for nothing and he wouldn't have drawn a card. But still, because who, who's expecting Triton's Another decree? Another one. <laughs> and wow. Sylvia can't believe it. Has she got something else that can immediately answer it? Do we see a strength? Do we see a storm? There is. Uh, let the storm rage on in there. You've got to think she she is kind of interested in playing this Ursa Deceiver of all those so she can get these songs online. Yeah, and Ross is at one law as well. Let's not forget the, the graphic there, just not quite updated. Um, as we see the Sudden Chill getting inked and the Storm Rage on his hard cast and Ross just takes He's a big not heavy happy, sigh. Is he? <laughs> Not what he wanted to see. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I think that's fair. Again, there I think there is an argument to getting the uh, C rule, so you could do that next turn and double, but you are denying uh, Ross 3 law now, which against aggro decks is very important. So, yep, I respect it for sure. Ross is going to ink, and down comes a Queen's Castle. Not uh, has, has the second colour been revealed for Silver? Uh, Sylvia has... She inked, uh, she inked Morph. Yeah, yeah she inked Morph. She inked Morph. Ink. I was just, uh, the only thing I was going to say is, um, like, if you didn't know the other colour, potentially something could come down and answer this Queen's Castle. I don't think much. But, yeah, this should sit there for a turn or two. Yeah, so Queen's Castle is down for Ross, and it can definitely be a problematic card for Sylvia and her... Oh, look at that going into the ink roll. Ross is like, yeah, OK. And in comes a one-cost Diablo. It's going to show... Sylvia Ross's hand, which hasn't seemed to have happened just yet. No. I think they're just. Uh, I think they're just, just deciding the law. The law. There's, so it's like a pretty cool iPad. And my first time using it, where you can kind of update your law on the go, which is a really nice addition to these. But I think they're just trying to work it out. And Ross, like, oh, look at that. Okay. He's enjoying the toys. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice little area to sit at, sit at, Baker, I have to say. Pretty comfortable. Nice. And the lights are quite bright, though. Yeah. And it is rather hot this weekend. It is. Bologna. And you're on the big stage yeah. as well. The eyes of the Lord Carnival community are upon you. The pressure is on. Uh, have we seen the hand? Has, has, has he revealed his hand to her? 
I think he's no. just decided not to. <laughs> like, no, he's just gone, no, I'm not, I'm not showing you. <laughs> to be fair, he might have, and we might okay. have just missed it. So now we go. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah, show her the hand, Ross. By the, uh, by the law. <laughs> uh, a full bounce package in hand there. We've got the fox, the goat, and the snake, I believe. And, uh, the fox, the goat, and the rabbit. There you go. Fox. The Robin Hood Enchanted shifts in as well for Sylvia. And, of course, it is able to either challenge or quite sensitive, but instead it's going to sing Sudden Chill. Ross discards the Madame Mim Fox, and the Diablo is still drying, so nothing doing there. Ross is going to draw, gain two law yep. for the Queen's Castle, putting them up to three, 17 away. Yep, better than nothing for sure. I think that is that super goof that there it is. talking about. <laughs> he loves it. Boom! The super goof. And that 4 pole power is nice, meaning he survives this <laughs> challenge into the Robin Hood, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure he'll exert it in a moment, but yeah, just an immediate plus two for the super peanut powers. Yeah, you gain two law for whenever Super Goof is going to challenge a character. Doesn't work on locations, worth noting. It is only on other characters. Yep. And yep, that yep. was four ink spent by Ross, so... Didn't ink yet this time, I don't believe. There was a rabbit in hand, and there is also a goat yeah. in hand. I'm going to opt to pass back over. But yeah, I know he's a big fan of the Super Goof, but this is obviously just a very aggro version of Ruby Amethyst with those Simbas and this Super Goof, obviously. But yeah, that Queen's Castle's still sitting there. Nice to have on the board, so you're at least getting some um, passive law gain as the game goes on, as long as Sylvia continues to ignore it. Look at that That's hand. not a bad hand, is it? Look I've at that hand. <laughs> that is amazing. No Bucky. Is she playing Bucky? Probably. I know, she, she could be cool. Sylvia said not to make friends. They're here to win, and I, I am all for it. From the broadcasting team, she's here to win a Mickey. <laughs> Sylvia's going to challenge Ross's super goof with Robin Hood. Yep. She's going to remove it, and Robin Hood's going to gain two law for its trouble. Yep, it's going to take another two damage from the two strength that... Super Goof has, but that's fine. Ross has nothing on his board. Of course, could develop something and then immediately play a fox, although that would trade. But if he can keep the castle on board, that's pretty good. Yep, it's definitely ticking away nicely, especially with goats available. Going to be an ink of the Ursula Deceiver of all. In for a Robin Hood, another enchanted Robin Hood onto the board. Diablo is going to quest for one, putting Sylvia up to three. Yep. Ross draws. And now Sylvia has the damage on board to be able to answer this castle next turn, if she so uh, if she so chooses. Yep. These Robin Hoods having three strength each and the Diablo having one. We are going to see that rabbit coming down, drawing card. Finds a Maui. That's going to be really important to remove one of these Robin Hoods. Yep. And Goat is going to be inked. There is still one ink available for us. Will they move the rabbit into the castle? They don't. Venice, the castle's probably getting removed, but should have definitely used that last ink to move it. There was no reason not to, was there? Yeah, no, you are right. I, I I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be sure about this afterwards. You should. You should. <laughs> I, I've made that mistake before, though. But yeah. no, you should. No, let's put it this way. Say it, and then he won't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, just a casual game here. You can see the special match. See, that's why this changes every time. We've had showcase match, okay. show match, special match love it but yeah if you're just joining us um we have finished three rounds of the disney lorcana challenge in bologna the players are currently on their lunch break getting themselves a little something to eat stepping outside well even in this heat uh but yeah so to fill the time Whoa. we've got ross who is obviously our broadcast partner throwing down that maui that's definitely going to be removed um not that one ross please yeah there you go there you, there you go yeah and then you can immediately remove the other robin hood if you so choose but yeah ross up against sylvia both uh, from the broadcasting teams, Ross part of the uh, English speaking team and Sylvia the Italians and yeah it's really nice for us to have these showcase matches not only because we get to play yeah. which I, qu I quite like playing uh, but it just fills the time between these games the people at home I, uh, I'm sure will enjoy watching these matches and if you're if you're watching in on Twitch or whatever it might be hi thanks for being here yeah absolutely and of course if you do want to watch the Italian broadcast and who could blame you mm. that is available on the Disney Lorcana EU Twitch channel yeah, go and show the girls some love. Doing a fantastic job. Been great to meet them. Ross is going to throw down a Schoenabog's followers card that I know you like a lot and the, the community in general likes a lot. It's pretty much the only guaranteed one drop, one drop in Amethyst, I would say. Yeah. I think, like, the other options are, like, brooms and, like, there are other things. But I think the Schoenabog's followers are pretty, is a pretty is staple as yep. far as... I would put personally broom into the category. Not everyone That's fair. Would. No, that's fair. I, uh, I, I respect it. Schoenabog's and brooms are just two of my favorite cards. Yeah, no, I, I respect it. Very efficient. 
draw it's worth, I think you're right about the broom. My statement is more that I think most of the community Agreed. like are just behind the Schoenberg. Yeah. But I, as time has gone on, I've come round to the brooms. You, you have shown me the, the broom. They're very similar cards, <laughs> right? As we see the sudden chill, the scar, the rabbit from Ross's no, hand. That... He's fuming about that. Can't feel good. Haven't seen a Bucky though, Ross. So it, it could be at least she's discarded your hand like the kind of the old-fashioned way. Yeah. <laughs> Another Diablo. Three Diablos on the board. One of the one costs. One of the Enchanteds, and one. Of Look the at that! It's like ah, oh, isn't it? Look at Ross's face. He looks disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> no cards in hand. Does have the Shadowbox followers, so in a pinch we'll be able to quest and immediately draw. Um, he's reminding Sylvia that she can draw because of the exerted Diablo. Well done, Ross. Appreciate that. Arthur, not a terrible top. Um, you can quest here. If you draw a character card here that you can play, great. If not, then maybe this, this may be a bit preemptive because the Chernobog will just be... Like you might not get use out of the Arthur. I'm not sure. We want to see a character here is my point. Yep, so Ross does draw, and the magic room found, which is pretty good, but Sylvia also with that exerted Diablo able to draw themselves as well. Currently, Ross is at eight law. They are... Also getting pretty close to that seven ink mark for a potential be prepared sure. to clear these Diablos. I'm not sure if Ross even has it, though, with these more aggressive cards like Simba. Mm. It's going to be pretty difficult to fit in be prepared as well. Yeah, he may have gone for a more just like lower to the ground sort of version, just the bounce package and all this aggro sort of stuff. Maybe there's a lady or two in there, either Lady, um, lady Tremaine or Madame Medusa. But yeah, I, th I think your read is probably right. The odds of a be prepared in this particular deck are not high, but Ross likes some spice. He might have thrown it in there to be an additional answer. We've got a Beast Tragic Hero that's going to hit the board. Nice foiling. I'm sure she'd love an Enchanted of that. An enchanted Beast Tragic Hero would, would, would be cool. She's going to quest up with everything for three. Again, this Diablo's very strong cards. Don't quest for a whole lot, but that's not really why you play them. So she's going to exert them all. So she will be drawing two cards when Ross draws. And then she'll be drawing two cards to start her turn because of Beast Tragic Hero, if yeah. it's still there. Yeah, so Ross does quest with the Magic Broom. The card off the top was a Madame in Fox. Not bad at all. So Ross is going to bounce the broom back into their hand. That was three ink spent. And still have three remaining. Of course, does have Rush as well. Not going to be able to target that evasive Diablo, unfortunately, Ross. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of when I tried to brawl a Sisu against Steve Warner yeah. while I had four or five strengths. I mean, you cut about six times. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. Uh, but yeah, not a terrible turn other than that. Was able to bounce back and then um, remove the, bounce his fox back to hand and could now then play this fox again. Yep. So uh, Arthur gaining quite a lot of lore. Like nice Ross's more aggressive build is starting to come into its own a little bit here as the fox is back on the board is going to bounce back the Arthur into Ross's hand right yeah, it should be going back to his hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be going. Should, uh, <laughs> you love a judge call, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I think the offer should be going. Yeah, yeah, it, the, yeah. They're obviously discussing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would just be a mistake from, from Ross's end for sure, 100%. Um, but yeah, just the fox left on board. Okay, they're good. It's a lot of pressure under the light. It is, it is. And again, the world's watching. The Lorcana, the, the Illumineers are watching. Yeah. Ross is currently at 12 law. Sylvia is at seven. Going to ready, set, and draw. But not just once, Baker. Twice because of that beast tragic hero, as you mentioned. Or, yep. or not. Just once. Uh, just all, that's all she needs. That's all she needs. <laughs> Storm Rage on. She's got Diablos. She's happy, mate. Let, let, let her live a life. <laughs> So the fox on the board for Ross, Sylvia with that double Diablo and Beast, tragic Big hero. Big hand. She's already got a huge hand. She's so good. She, 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 she's hand. good. But Ross is unfortunately topping it. Or well, he has an Arthur in hand. So the Ursula Vanessa does the see broom. the cards in hand. I missed the broom. Isn't going to be able to discard anything. Just information is nice. Knew that he had the Arthur. And yeah, probably should have known. I, I probably should have known they had the broom as well because he bounced that um, originally when he played the fox or something. Sylvia at seven law currently. Ross is at 12. So Ross is definitely creeping up towards that 20 mark with an Arthur and a broom in hand. 
That offer has some serious questing power. Yeah, I mean, if he can find another Simba, or maybe he's playing the Pinocchios as well, yep. then that could be a nice turn to quest with that, and then quest with Arthur, bounce the Pinocchio, the Simba, either or. Um, yeah, this isn't over, but Sylvia does have at least one copy of that Storm Rage on, and also the Muses, Joe. I know, yes. you're a fan, I know you're a fan of the Muses, buddy. Yeah, Muses is a really cool card. As we see, Diablo sing Storm Rage on, two damage counters into Mim. Sylvia's also going to draw a card. I think they were looking for some more damage, doesn't find it. But yeah, the music is a really fascinating one. Not something you see every day in Emerald Steel, but in a Emerald Amber deck in particular, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. really, really pop off. I think it's a card we might see more of once Bucky is I agree. errated as well. Morph into the building, another Diablo, and it's on over. Well, I might just do some questing Sylvie here as well. Yep, it makes sense to me. Again, like she has strong board control and card count in general, but Ross at that 12 lore, and we know he's got the Arthur. She knows that he's got the Simbers, so she needs to respect that Ross could just win this game out of nowhere. Yeah, and I think Sylvia was just realizing that she didn't draw with the Beast and has put that three on. I like that. Putting the dice to remind herself to draw for the Diablos. Uh, that's a pretty cool... Pretty cool idea, that, Baker. Just putting a dice on top of yep. your deck to help remind yourself to not miss those triggers. It's easily done. It is. I've, I've done it. I'm sure we've all been there. Missed a beast tri uh, trigger. Missed a Diablo trigger. We are human at the end of the day. And Ross going to play oh. down at Maleficent. For Another an Simba entered the hand for Ross. It is going to be three ink remaining for Ross. It's going to be a magic broom. Are we going to see the Simba? We certainly are. Ross is now really trying to put the pressure on. Sylvia is 10 away. Board is going to quest for four, five, six, seven. But of course, could shift in theory onto the morph to increase that slightly. I don't think there's going to be anything that would allow Silva to get to 20 just yet, which means Ross has probably got the option to quest rather than being forced to try and remove one of Sylvia's cards. I was just looking to see if she had a grab your swords in hand. That would have been absolutely devastating to Ross's board. All of those characters having two strength or less. See a nice enchanted Tinkerbell in there as well. I actually have an enchanted Tinkerbell in my collection. I know. Ursula Sea Witch Queen that Tim was playing against yep. me. I managed to trade him. I gave him my pristine, never played, pack fresh Ursula Sea Witch Queen. And he gave me a very, very well played Tinkerbell. But uh, I love it a lot. I want him to sign it for me as well. I will admit when you were playing him, I did tell that story story to, 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 to the people because I'm not going to lie, Matt. I'm sorry. I wanted him to beat you with your own Sea Witch yeah. Queen. <laughs> no, and now I have it. <laughs> so it's Sylvia going to be readying all of her cards, which is an awful lot of them. Looks like Ross quested for just one with this Madam Mim Fox. Yeah, puts into 13. So he's got three, four, five, well, six lore on board, but that Fox is probably being removed. So five would take him to 18. Yeah, um, obviously, Sylvia's got to be a bit scared of the goat as well. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Just at this point in the game, the goat, the goat snake play is... Oh, very Tinkerbell awesome. comes through on the shift. <laughs> that's going to deal one damage. Goodbye, Simba. Goodbye, Madam Mim Fox as well. Yeah, that's a heavy, heavy... Um, hit to Ross who potentially could have been pushing for game next turn depending on what his hand is but Sylvia if your question is has she been drawing cards yes all of them yes. All, all of the cards with these Diablos this beast tragic hero Ross just obviously not running a whole lot of removal or at least haven't seen any of that removal yeah so Sylvia spending four ink to shift the tink onto the morph I do love a shift tink. Uh -huh. Morph into the ink well, it seems. I can't believe how many enchanters I'm seeing. It's amazing. I bet Tim's somewhere watching this. Like <laughs> The Muses enters the board now for Sylvia. So many cards on the board, she's having to start to go. She's on a second front. row, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are so close to we the end of the game. West, I believe. Oh, now it's going to sing Strength of a Raging Fire. Going to remove the broom. Yep. Broom, definitely the right decision, because that would enable a potential uh, another draw from Ross. And then the Muses, is it going to bounce back the Maleficent into Ross's hand? It certainly is. Uh, no, into your, into your hand, Ross. Well, we are very close to the end now anyway. They're, they're gonna, he's going to extend the handshake because we have reached the end yeah. of our time limit. We're, we are preparing very shortly to be going into round four. But yeah, well done to both of our players there. Yeah, Silva, Silvia victorious. I think yeah. Ross just said, yeah, you beat me. Fair <laughs> that Tinkerbell was the final blow. Yeah, she just could, did not take off the pressure. Uh, Ross playing a lot of these characters like Simba and Loquest.